Hi, uh, my name is Frances Mungia, and I am from Riverside, California. Um, I am so grateful to be here at Meat Ministry. It is um, a place that has inspired me to change my life. Um, I feel blessed to be here. I came here because um, I have uh, been diagnosed with um, cancer and um, I, I, I recently got a reoccurrence of cancer. When I first got diagnosed, um, I had a, um, a blockage in my uh, small intestines and it had to be an emergency surgery. Doctor told me that um, I um, had to have uh, the surgery immediately and I therefore had the surgery. I then um, was rushed into getting chemotherapy as preventative measures for um, my uh, basically for my cancer so that it wouldn't come back. Well, it came back. The second time I was re-diagnosed uh, for the reoccurrence and at this time it had metabol metastasized to my liver. Um, I had uh, the experience of going through the chemotherapy at the beginning, at the first time that I was diagnosed. So I was not very uh, happy about going uh, through it again. My, at that point, um, my, my son had, do, had done some research on uh, alternative treatments. He was very adamant that I not do chemotherapy again because um, he said it didn't work and I totally agreed with him. It did not work. It was for preventative measures, according to the doctors. But it came back again. And very quickly, um, my last chemotherapy was in May of 2017. And by August of 2017, I had been re-diagnosed again. Um, so we started doing some more research and looking into alternative treatments. Um, one of my friends who is um, from the Seventh Adventist, the Ruvidu, um Church, uh, her name is Sandra Brooks, she came to my house um, just to visit me. And I'm so grateful for her coming to my house because she told me about this particular place in Tennessee. As we were talking about come, or about the treatment, uh, Sister uh, Catherine uh, Matthews calls Sandra because um, they were gonna do a training at Mount Rubidoux for people who wanted to know more about alternative treatments and what God's plan um, basically was all about. And um, they, <clears throat> they were just basically, she called Sandra to um, make sure about the appointment and stuff like that. While we were talking, we started talking to Sister Catherine and um, she started explaining a little bit more and telling us more about the meat ministry. Um, my son and I were really inspired. Um, and, and that night, I felt like there was a calm in my soul um, about coming or, or not coming, but just I knew that I was gonna be okay. I knew that God was placing uh, me where I needed to be. I felt like 
God was um, picking me out of a crowd of people who just go to get their chemo, they have cancer, they've been diagnosed, and therefore they go into this place of chemo and kind of like a chamber. And I knew that if I did that, I would quickly die. And I didn't want to die, nor do I want to die. And now I have hope. We talked about it. And um, we later on, my son took the course of Catherine uh, that she presented at Mount Rubidoux. And he was really inspired and he wanted to help, you know, in any way. So he took the course and I started doing a little bit of um, hydrotherapy and I started a vegan diet, which was just so hard, but doing it all by myself was really hard. So um, we just decided I was having a hard time with it. So during this time, Michael, my son, was taking the course from Sister Catherine and um, he would come home and I would be frustrated because I wasn't sure what I was doing. So we decided that it was a good time for me to attend um, meet ministry at uh, in Tennessee. And uh, everything was decided and by the grace of God, everything within two or three days i had my plane tickets i had everything was falling into place um, i had um, sister catherine had already uh, reserved a space for me here and um, and i was ready to come and i feel that god has really um, made a difference in my life um, when I first arrived at Meet Ministry, our home, um, basically I, was, I wasn't sure of what was gonna happen and I had some, um, perhaps maybe some anxiety because I, it was the unknown. But when I first got here, everybody was so caring and loving and, and just open to to just trying to make me better, make me well. And it was not about anything but just feeling the love and um, feeling like I was gonna be okay. The people here are so giving and loving, um, accommodating, um, they just, there's always a smile on their face they're always happy if I ask them a question if I ask them for something you know it's just they'll take care of it and these 17 days have been so stress-free it's been just amazing my therapist um, who is amazing um, her name is April she just has given me so many just she's helped me so much she through the through the uh, therapies she's been so gentle she's been just very caring loving and um, she just is amazing one of the really just I don't know if it's funny or not but she looks like Sandra Brooks um, she looks so much like Sandra Brooks even her her gestures um, my friend who basically came to my house you know it's like God is just telling me this is where you need to be this is where I needed to be I am so grateful to be here during the time that I've been here um, 
I've noticed I have pink fingers. I didn't have pink fingers before. Pink nails. Um, you know, it's kind of like life is coming back to my body. Um, you know, my hair is growing. I have a little bit of a curl, which I'm really grateful for. And, you know, those are the kind of things that I've noticed. You know, that's just in 17 days. Um, you know, I've noticed that I've been um, with my input and output, you know, everything just is just flowing in my body. And that wasn't the case before. I was, you know, I had lots of constipation and now it's just, I'm so grateful. And those are the kind of things that I've noticed just with these, these days. The food is just, amazing because I get to eat real food and um, and I get full and I like the food it's really good it's vegan and this is new for me um, I used to eat lots of chicken and now it's just vegan and I feel like when I go home I'm gonna have you know the ability to cook my own food and uh, share with my family and um, be able to you know spread the word in that way where my family can be part of you know them healing and them you know learning how to eat um, like you know like we should you know with grains and nuts and and um, just fruits and vegetables which that's God's plan. Um, I'm so grateful for that. I'm going home with a cookbook and with, you know, instruments to use to make my life better, healthy. Um, I am just really grateful and looking forward to going home um, to start cooking my meals and doing my, you know, just being healthy. And I'm so grateful that my family is supporting me with that because my husband came with me and he's been eating vegan food and he seems to be pretty happy you know he'll say something about he likes the salads or he'll like you know certain foods and you know he didn't have that before he didn't eat that way before and I'm so grateful because God is doing you know a miracle in him as well my kids are also supporting me by starting to eat vegan food and um, and so it's the whole family and I'm so grateful for that so I'm here and I can only give you my experience strength and hope and um, and I hope that if you're in my situation and if you are um, having um, some other health issues, it doesn't necessarily mean that it has to be cancer. It could be arthritis. It could be high blood pressure, diabetes. They work with everything here. They work with all types of diseases and disorders. And, um, and I'm sure that if you come to Meat Ministry, our home, um, you will also feel first of all you will feel like you know you're going to be taken care of you're going to feel like you've made a change in your body for the positive side positive way and you will heal there's so much power in the foods that you that you eat you know there is so much power in how you feel um, so I would encourage anyone who has some kind of illness or disorder to look into meat ministry and um, and see if you know this is a program for them and I'm sure it is because I feel so so much joy that I came here I'm so grateful I'm so grateful to God that this is a God-given thing for me and um, 
I just thankful to God.